Democrats and Republicans have very different reactions to today's testimony, as you might imagine, and different expectations about what will happen next. KVU political reporter Ashley Godot has responses from both parties. Hi, Quita. I'm joined by Matt Makoviak, chairman of the Travis County Republican Party, and Tara Polmeyer, who is the communications manager with Progress Texas. Thank you both for being here today. Sure. Thank you. Uh, you know, Tara, we'll start with you. What are your overall thoughts on today's testimony? Absolutely. I think from the GOP today, we saw a lot of the same that we've seen, which is kind of an ignoring of the evidence that has been placed forth from the Mueller report, as well as some distractions and some deflections and not really wanting to talk about it. I think what we'll see next is Democrats really taking the helm and making sure that they carry out what needs to be carried out now that we have heard the evidence from Mueller himself. Matt, what do you say? What do you think about today's testimony? Yeah, I, I, I don't think we learned anything new. I mean, I watched 90 percent of it. Uh, I'm not even sure that this achieved what the Democrats wanted it to achieve. Um, you know, Mueller said he was not going to go beyond the report. And, you know, you had this ridiculous spectacle of Democrats reading from the report and asking Mueller if this is what the report said. Uh, that's not uh, helpful. It doesn't bring, move the story along. So I just uh, have to wonder what the point of all this was. There was some strategy behind the, the point of today, if you will. There are some Democrats who would like to see the president impeached mm -hmm. and and they think that this could help in that argument. Absolutely. I think there are a few truths that we kind of cemented today. And one of those is that there was an obstruction of justice on behalf of the president, his campaign, and his administration. So I'm excited to see what going fo that going forward and see if they choose to take impeachment proceedings. No matter what, in 2020, we will not see President Trump in office. There was no conspiracy, no financial crimes, no nothing, uh, which the report basically confirmed. Why would you obstruct justice if you did nothing wrong? Um, and so, you know, look, I'll, I'll freely admit there were some things I think Trump, you know, probably thought about doing or talked about doing that I wish he hadn't. Uh, the question, I guess, now is will Democrats move forward with impeachment? I think their case for impeachment got worse today, and that was not their goal. Their goal was to to help change public opinion, to help strengthen their case. Their case got weaker today. All right, well, obviously, we will see what happens in the future. That's our time. We thank you both for joining us today. Thanks. Back okay. to you at the desk.